Hello, this is Groovy4455 and welcome to my tutorial on how to put on buttons to your uh, Amnesia level. So what I have here is I have four buttons in this room and they are all hided and I have my momentum uh, quest thing is over here and a locked door. So when you walk, walk to that door uh, it will say that I need to find a way to get through. So what I have here is I have button one uh, and button two and button three and button four. So it doesn't. Uh, this is kind of a lame tutorial because um, you can only p press those buttons once uh, when you have loaded this place. But don't worry. Whatever in whatever order you press them, it still opens the door. So it's it's kind of lame, but well, it's okay for starters, I think. So what I have here is I have my fucking uh, lame food storage uh, that has these old buttons, and I don't I do not know why. Why why the fuck would a food storage have some weird ass buttons to open a door? I don't know. It it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense whatever. So, now we will go to our HPS file of our map. I'll zoom out for a little. Uh, so, uh, first up, go... Uh, oh, first up, uh, many people have asked me uh, that why is my map running and it's not crashing even though and and some some thingies are they are not working uh, uh, and and uh, I do not know if they have those kind of voices, but that's my lamentation. Anyway, uh, so that is why because uh, mostly people have put in voids, different voids to inside voids. Sure, they will work. They will work definitely. I mean, the map will work, but they don't work actually. The functions don't work so. We're just gonna delete that. So, what what do you need to worry on first? I'll zoom up. Uh, so, uh, and I suggest you to watch this on full screen if you want to see this. So, you don't have to worry about this. These are not for you. They are for me. So, what should you do? You should um, write well, write these down to your void on start. These are the callbacks of every button. Oh, and uh, these are my button names. Uh, you should write them like I have. If if you made your buttons like button one, button two, button three, like just with little first fucking letters, I don't know. Or you can, if you have their, them, they're called like shit one. You can just go ahead and play with your shit one and shit two and. Uh, just leave this, uh, when you do this, uh, do funk1 and funk, leave these be. So now, I'm just gonna do it like that, so I have my old commands back. So, now we will uh, do the voids, and I suggest you, if you have this void on start, I suggest you to, like, when this is the first one, just press enter a couple of times and then start writing. Now, uh, you don't need to uh, worry about this. These are not for you. Do not watch them. Now, I have here is uh, void funk one um, string uh, blah 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 blah. You can just watch this. And now, what happens here? Um, this, this kind of uh, starts the funk uh, to cooperate with funk funk 5 which is opening the door so basically uh every every one of these now uh adds one one number to the system that kind of when it's 4 it opens the door when it's 4 it opens the door hey that rhymes cool so what you want to do is bracket and then tab once bracket and then tap twice and put this and again tap to twice and add this and tap once and 
a curly bracket in I mean uh, inside or whatever here and then one one over here so what happens uh, these control it and these have so basically if you have it like this um, now it will just continue until it finds his partner or she's partner I don't know maybe his partner is he, uh, he I don't know maybe he's gay I don't know anyways you should also also I mean you should always always have this and now uh, when you have this uh, copy it and press enter twice or three times it doesn't really matter now copy it like the same copy it like copy it three times three times now that you have copied it three times I will just go ahead and delete cuz I don't need three, three of them so what you wanna do is you don't have to change anything else on them except the funk change this to 2 and then this to 3 your next one and this to 4 now that you don't have anything else in there you will you will have to do one more funk so void funk 5 and brackets and bracket opened and then tap once and this text and enter and this and then tap twice and this shit here oh crap uh, oh, come on oh um, yeah yeah so and then tap twice and don't worry uh, this is just going like this cause lack of space and then once more enter and only one tab and close it up with this if you do it exactly like I did you will succeed oh oh fuck it's not done yet of course it's not of course we have to name our door and put a n door name of I'm sorry I'm, I'm stupid I'm stupid my mistake. Uh, so press the door that you have that you wanted wanted to be opened. I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure if I already told you this. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. So I named my door button door one. Just, just with little letter letters. No, no big fancy letters or anything. Now we will use it in here. So set swing door locked button door one. Or if you have your door named I here in game, if it's shit, then you should name it shit in that in there. So I have it button door one. So yeah. So uh, basically, that is how you do buttons. It's simple as that. Uh, mm, Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, and I will uh, answer. I will answer every question on HPL or scripting in my in our in my comments. Um, yeah, and um, next tutorial is going to be about lightning. And after that, I think I'm going to have have a tutorial on putting entities active, such as um, if you pick up a key. Two that belongs to a door, then a grunt will spawn, and maybe it will be a poofer, or maybe it won't. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope it helped. And anyways, comments if you have any problems of whatsoever with your scripting, and you can also PM me or yeah. Thank you.